Close your eyes and try to picture yourselves dividing. What do you see? Your mental image may be somewhat abstract. This is a diagram from a typical high school biology textbook. It shows a series of static steps through which a cell must go in order to divide. But images of this process in living cells captured through the power of advanced microscopy tell a much more complete and exciting story, one with action, mystery, and some incredibly high stakes. Based at the Biocomplexity Institute of Virginia Tech, Daniela Cimini's research group is examining how cells divide at an incredible level of detail. When we look closer, that same process of cell division, repeated in our body billions of times a day, looks a lot more complex and action-packed. The condensed chromosomes move around like an excited crowd in the center of the cell until they are lined up in the middle. Then, quite suddenly, the sisters split apart and move to opposite sides of the cell, while the cell pinches in the middle to form two daughter cells. But how do chromosomes move? The microtubules of the mitotic spindle, shown in red in this video, bind the chromosomes at attachment sites called kinetochores, shown in green, and pull the chromosomes back and forth like two teams struggling in a game of tug of war. Then, when the bonds between the sisters are severed, the microtubules pull the chromosomes to opposite sides of the cell. Seen in this perspective, even a normal cell division begins to look really exciting. But what happens when mitosis goes wrong? When cells fail at proper mitosis, they can end up with uh, fatal mutations, and this can lead to cell death. And this is unfortunate, but there is no long-term harm. However, uh, if these cells keep dividing, they can keep making the mistakes made by their mother uh, cell, and that's what we see in many cancer cells. So the questions that drive our research are, what are these common errors that happen in mitosis? Why do they happen? And how can that lead to cancer formation? One common mistake seen in cancer cells is a chromosome that lags behind an anaphase instead of moving towards the pole of the mitotic spindle. The final result is one of these daughter cells will not have a full set of chromosomes. In this position, the cell is much more likely to contribute to the creation of tumors. So the question we're left with is, why does this happen? When we image cells with labeled kinetochores and microtubules, we see that this happens because the kinetochore, which is the attachment site between the chromosome and the mitotic apparatus, is bound by microtubules emanating from both sides of the cell. So no one is winning at the game of tug of war. Discoveries like this have some truly exciting implications for cancer research. If we can better understand how errors in cell division occur, we can be more prepared to repair them or even prevent them from ultimately happening. To people flipping through their textbooks, cell division may seem just like business as usual. But now that we've looked closer, we can see that it's more like a bustling, action-packed choreography. And by peering deeper into the details of each dance step, we can better understand how life is sustained and how perturbations of this beautiful chromosome dance can lead to disease. Try to picture your cells dividing. What do you see? <laughs>